Hi, my name is Zach Darris. And my name is Greg Elrod. And we're here to talk about the Omron NX1 machine controller. And the Delta Tau CK3 motion controller. Some of the best features of the NX1 are its ability to take on full machine control. So that means tying the servo axes, remote I.O., HMI, safety, and industrial networking all into one platform. Some of the capabilities of the Delta Tau CK3E motion controller are its ability to handle NC style programming and G-code, as well as coordinate up to 256 axes together. Programming the NX1 is done using the IEC 611 programming languages through Omron software SysMax Studio. So it means using the ladder logic, function blocks, structured text, and the other languages, whatever a operator or a engineer is most comfortable with, to program the CPU. To program the CK3E motion controller, developers will use a Visual Studio style environment and program in script and C style languages. Typical applications for the NX1 include situations where you need to control an entire machine platforms, larger semiconductor tools, packaging equipment, or interfacing to IT platforms such as SQL or SCADA packages. And typical applications for the CK3E motion controller involve precise motion control, advanced kinematics for a lot of axes, as well as its ability to process G-code uh, using its NC interface. One of the things that makes both of these controllers very similar is they both use EtherCAT as their primary communication device to third-party devices, meaning you can have servo axes, remote I.O., and other devices scattered around a machine and at remote locations and still get high-speed uh, communication to those third-party devices. The NX1 in particular has also Ethernet IP built in, so you can also communicate to Ethernet IP devices. One of the things that separates the NX1 from the CK3 is its ability to communicate to higher level systems and higher level IT systems. It has a built-in OPC UA server that enables that level of communication. It also has a SQL client built in which allows you to very easily set up a SQL client and remove any middleware or PCs out on a machine uh, to help reduce maintenance costs. We use the CK3E motion controller when the application is very demanding from a motion control and robotics perspective. Its advanced algorithms give the developer confidence that they're going to be able to achieve the motion control requirements they need. The biggest takeaway from the NX1 is its ability to be a full machine controller. So whether you're incorporating motion control, I.O., or particularly safety, you can do it all under one CPU and in one software platform. And for developers, comfortable with an ARM-based multi-core setup that runs a real-time Linux operating system, the CK3E may be for you. Thank you for watching our overview of these Omron motion controller and machine controllers. Please see the links below for all product specifications and data sheets. And give us a call if you have any applications that might utilize either of these controllers.